All right, everyone, the politics of 2020 just won't let up. Uh, we saw in the last 24 hours a very interesting display, which was in the state of Pennsylvania. You have a pending case attempting to prevent certification of uh, election results. Uh, and I know the governor there has already gotten involved with this. But uh, what happened, some people are currently circulating a story uh, about one uh, circuit judge, actually. They're issuing uh, a stay on certifying any further results uh, pending evidentiary hearings. This was immediately, automatically put on hold, and people need to understand this. You're only getting half the story if you're looking at, like, the Epoch Times article. You're not getting the run-up to that, which was reported on a few hours later, which is that it automatically, because the state uh, officials, uh, the governor and so forth, have uh, asked for a stay pending a higher court decision, that decision is on hold. It thus throws the certification process into a sort of gray area, but what's going to happen is tomorrow, my belief according to this is there is then an evidentiary hearing, assuming the higher court, which has overruled the lower court, decides to take it. If this happens, um, and then it's not likely, by the way, to the Trump fans, it's not likely that this higher court is going to agree to hear it. They'll probably just throw it out in the first 10 minutes. The judge will probably toss it out. Then it goes to SCOTUS. Um, there's nowhere else for it to go. Uh, I believe, uh, actually, I believe the Pennsylvania Supreme Court might get a hold of it first, but I'm pretty sure it just goes before the Supreme Court of the United States. And this comes on top, this sort of back and forth uh, uh, story is on top of Michael Flynn getting pardoned. I'm not even going to make an independent video about that. By the way, my thoughts on that in brief, Trump's doing the right thing. Uh, Flynn was railroaded. However, there are a lot of other people that deserve a pardon too. Julian Assange. Kim.com, uh, the, the the basically uh, anyone involved. Some of the Napster people, I think, are still in prison now as well for copyright infringement. Um, all of those people, all the great dissidents of society, Snowden, Manning, they should all be pardoned. Um, he might as well pardon Manafort too. Who's going to stop him? Nobody can. He might as well do that just to piss on these people. That way, uh, it ties up all the loose ends. Oh boy, wouldn't that be funny? And he's the one that actually deserves to be in prison. But I mean, come on, he's an old man. Give him time. Commute his sentence. Give him time serve and just say that the sentence was excessive. Um, I like that. Um, but And then we've got more, more filings now in Michigan, apparently, from Powell's people. Uh, so the Kraken has been released. Um, will it do anything? No, I don't believe so. Um, I haven't dug into the information. I would, I would hazard a guess, based on what I've seen from Sidney Powell, that that's more on the distraction side. Almost like running interference for Trump's more legitimate legal maneuvers, which again, as I said days ago, are more about the constitutionality of passing acts to change voting requirements within states, like in Pennsylvania, with the filings there that I was speaking about earlier. Those filings rely upon a construing of the state constitution. They have nothing to do with election fraud. They have to do with the idea that several hundred thousand votes are retroactively invalidated simply because they were illegally cast uh, under state law that shouldn't have existed at the time. Um, that's from Giuliani's people. That's not from Sidney Powell, who is not even directly working with Trump. Um, it looks like a distraction, like a QAnon sort of thing. That's what it's become uh, apparent, uh, in my opinion. It could be that I'm wrong, but I think that people are, generally speaking, over the last few years, what we've seen is a situation where uh, you have like the, like the QAnon, the Sidney Powell, the stuff, the really hyperbolic over-the-top claims, and they almost never pan out in any meaningful sense. Meanwhile, at the same time, Trump keeps scoring incremental victories over his opponents largely unnoticed, simply because it's not as exciting as thinking about QAnon. Now, th think about how, how like the MSM reacts to things like this. The MSM says, oh my god, it's extremism. Be afraid of these right-wingers. Oh my god, people are believing disinfo. Obama coming out the other day saying, well, we need to do more to stop the far-right disinfo. Basically, we need to stop any flow of information counter to the establishment. That, that's, that's Without the newspeak layer over it, that's basically what he's saying. The left is oblivious to this fact, by the way. What's happened uh, is that they're not going to focus on Giuliani making a very boring legal brief and saying, look, you know, the Pennsylvania Constitution does not give the legislature the ability to pass Act 77. Well, nobody gives a fuck about that. That's legalese. It's boring. It's much, much more fun to say, oh, my God, they've got evidence of millions of fraudulent votes as part of a deep state conspiracy. I have yet to see any evidence of this. Remember that my initial reaction to the Hammer scorecard claims was essentially... 
I'm going to need a lot more evidence to believe that that's the case. It's possible. It's a plausible explanation, some CIA uh, op that got out of hand, but we don't have any proof of that. It'd be funny if we do find out proof. Oh, trust me, I'll be very, very happy if that's the case. But I think if there's any blocking of Beijing Biden's asterisk presidency or any of the down-ballot races, which, by the way, are also impacted by these various filings if they go through, and it looks like they will end up before the Supreme Court of the United States, uh, which just, by the way, five to four, with Coney Barrett joining them, which is hilarious, uh, invalidating Cuomo's restrictions on religious gatherings. So fuck Andy Cuomo. He violated the Constitution. He should be out of office immediately. Now, the Jews are celebrating in Long Island today. Good for them. Um, what, what you've got is a situation where if there's a blockage of Beijing Biden, it's probably not going to come from, from the LARP side of things. It's going to come from very boring legalese. It's going to come from constitutional arguments. It won't even come from fraud arguments. Yes, we've seen that there have been, in multiple cases, thousands and thousands of votes that have had to be switched retroactively because when they check the computer tabulation against the, the ballot receipts, uh, they find that votes were flipped. 6,000 in one county in Michigan alone. We've, we've got ongoing leg, uh, uh, litigation with regards to Wayne County, with regards to Maricopa, with regards to certainly Georgia at this point. That looks like it's going to blow wide open. Um, what I would say is that if I were in a position, like let's say that I were given godlike powers today, yeah, uh, absolutely I would shove Beijing Biden aside uh, because we already know how his presidency will be and it'll be bullshit. It'll be bad for the country. Um, the popular vote not mattering, fraud on the table, that's what would happen. But instead, you have a very, very large scope of judiciary proceedings in various states. SCOTUS may not decide to take any of these cases up at all. I hope they do. I think it's possible. But how likely is it? I don't know. We're sort of in untested waters. This sort of thing hasn't happened lately. The last time we had elections that were this muddy was the Reconstruction period just after the Civil War, in which states were uh, either admitted or not admitted to even voting at all uh, based on their Reconstruction efforts, which is, at the time, maybe kind of sleazy as well. And the, uh, the Republicans got punished for a while after that, by the way, uh, you know, based on, on their actions <laughs> politically in the wake of that. Uh, the Pennsylvania election results... Uh, are, are in a gray area right now because they've technically been certified, but they've been blocked, but the blockage has been blocked, and now it's pending a decision tomorrow, potentially, and possibly going to SCOTUS. This is the way, by the way, that the law works. You bounce back and forth all the time. You have an argument, a counter-argument, a decision is made, the decision is rescinded, it goes to a higher court. A decision's made, it's rescinded, it goes to a higher court. It's slow by design. It's also very expensive. <laughs> also, unfortunately, uh, by design at this point. That's about all. Peace out.